Hi there, and welcome to another video in our Lesson Space video tutorial series. My name is Jordan Tashner, and in this video, we'll be taking a deeper dive into the Resource Drawer, a powerful resource tool for your lessons located in the Whiteboard tab in your space. If you have not already, be sure to check out our other videos on the Whiteboard tab, another powerful tool for a collaborative workspace where you can draw, add shapes, and many, many more. So, let's get started. When we teach in the lesson space, there is often a need to pull in images from the web or add resources that aid in teaching your lesson. We provide a tool built straight into your whiteboard that is accessible via this button that allows you to add lesson specific resources without the need to search the web. To begin, just click the insert resource button located in the toolbar of any whiteboard tab. A window will open up showing a categories pane on the left and a view pane on the right of the resources inside that category. In this example, I'm inside the science category and selecting this image to add straight to my whiteboard and lesson. So back to the categories that we can see. There are a number of different ones to choose from, including math, language, science, music, and a variety of others. Let's walk through an example of adding a resource and teaching a lesson on the whiteboard with that resource. I will start with language. I first click on the add resource button, then I can go to the language category and search for the resource I want. I can also filter the images by search in the search bar for tags um, or using the image names directly. I want to teach a lesson on matching animals to their English names, so I add this resource. After clicking it, it will upload and now I can draw, scale or annotate the image using the whiteboard tools how I like. I'm going to scale up the image so my student can see it a bit better, or rather click zoom to fit so it automatically snaps our window to the resource size, which is extremely useful. I can then explain the lesson and my student will start drawing on their side, which I can easily watch from my seat. When my student is done and it is correct, why not add a confetti animation and a sticker to congratulate their work? Confetti can be clicked on the emoji menu and the sticker can be found in the other resource category. Finally, let's do one more example, this time music. Same as before, I click the add resource button, then choose the music category where I can find musical notes, sheet music, and many, many more resources that I've got to do with music. I'm going to add sheet music and some notes and fit the resources to my screen like so. Remember, I can use the floating menu to help make this more efficient, such as clicking the duplicate button because I have multiple notes on my sheet music. And that's it for the tutorial and the resource drawer. We really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and before I go, be sure just to, when you're adding resources, combine them to make your lesson more efficient, add some flair, um, congratulate your students with our stickers. Yeah, really go wild and think out of the box with the resources that we provide to you. Thank you, and until next time.